Hi Dollar Tree Stas, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. Let me just begin by telling you that this is such a crazy video. I, well, the video starts out at West Babylon and we found some things, trust me, we found some good things, but I received a bunch of messages from local subscribers telling me that the Amityville Horror Store is someplace that I needed to investigate. So I was like, ooh, people are putting me on the case. <laughs> I'm excited. So we went to the Amityville Horror Store and I have to tell you guys, although if you get easily frustrated and do not like chaos, that store may not be for you. I have to be honest. It is one of the reasons why I go out of town is because I just love to see a beautifully orchestrated store. It makes me really happy. But some of the items that I found in this shop with me, such as, and for example, these beauties that were just sitting absolutely not even in a section that you would think to find them in. I mean, they were like across from the HBC section. No rhyme or reason in that store. I literally cannot believe how many amazing items I found in the Amityville Horror Store. So I'm going to give you guys a tour of the store in case you haven't been there in a while. Maybe you might want to check back and really dig because I found amazing items and I sh I'm going to share with you where I found them. Okay guys, let's get into the video. Hey guys, we are at the Dollar Tree in West Babylon and it is really, really a beautiful day, but it's starting to get chilly. But I had such a good time today because the weather was beautiful. Let's get in there and see if the fies are beautiful too. I'm seeing a new gorgeous Ioni lash bar, guys, called Love Story. It's their wedding box of lashes. Look at how beautiful these are. We've got rhinestone lashes in a wispy natural doll called First Date. I love that. Oh, and on the back, we can see what they'll look like. Do you guys see that? Isn't that nice? Super duper pretty. First date, it looks Victorian. I love it. I think these are my favorites. Falling for you, I'm falling for these. Rhinestone lashes, look how beautiful. And then that's what they look like on the eye. I just love everything about this. And I love the pictures on the packaging. Then we have this one our love story which is a wispy full dreamy doll that's definitely really dramatic and that's so pretty and that's what it looks like right there then we have this one which is a wispy cluster sexy cat eye and those are really nice called true romance and then we have this one it is a wispy medium smoky doll key to my heart look at that he's proposing and then look the heart and the key beautiful and that's what it looks like on the eye now these right here they are the save the date aha definitely the wedding box of lashes ah oh, look they're making wedding plans this is so cute really really sweet i love this packaging guys save the date and look at how that looks those are gorgeous i think i always like cat eyes these are super full we have this wispy full long cluster spiky that's a whole lot to say in We Do, which is a whole lot to say there too. So love story, box of lashes, and this one is We Do. And I love the picture, love it. Then look at this with the Just Married. You guys see that with the pink truck? Wispy, full, long, smoky cat eye. I mean, absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful, guys. Then they have these lash jewels. Or, um, add a little sparkle it says to your lash strips with dazzling rhinestones and pearls and of course they have the lash glue to use and these are some of the suggestions for honeymoon that's what this box of accessories is called honeymoon and then we do have the everlasting vegan glue it's the white one obviously happily ever after but it's clear so, I mean, you don't have to use that. You can use several of the other styles of glue that they offer, but the packaging is so cute. And this would be a nice, maybe bridal shower gift for a friend. Look, it says first date. It has like the whole story on the side. It's so, so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna love this. I can already tell you that. This is peppermint infused bath sponge. 
love the color and I love that it's peppermint. I love anything peppermint, but look at this. You get the exfoliating gloves and instead of getting one, you actually finally get two, which makes sense to me. And I always wonder why you don't get two whenever you buy them. But now we know they can do it because they did it on this one. So you get two peppermint infused moisturizing gloves. Wow, that is so cool for a buck 25. You know what? I'm just wondering now as I'm looking at these beautiful bath fizzies, I'm wondering if this is exfoliating. It says moisturizing. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to definitely try them. If you've already tried them, let me know. But these are amazing, guys. Rose with essential oil bath fizzy. These look high end. Then we have orange blossom with essential oil bath fizzy or lavender with essential oil bath fizzy. And that is, that is really cool. Do you guys see that? If it actually fizzes, these are amazing for a buck 25. They look like they're from the store Lush, which does not charge a buck 25. I mean, I kind of, I think they're going to be amazing because I can smell them from here and they're sealed. Rose, orange, blossom, or lavender, buck 25. They even have the little sprinkle of goodness to make them look super bougie. These are awesome gifts. And like I keep saying, your mom will thank you. I know I would like them and I'm a mom. Okay, now, are you guys ready to see some really cute hair accessories? And if you're planning like rocking a one sleeve shirt this summer, I feel like you need this headband in your life. It's really giving me retro vibes of that nature. Or what were those things called where you would buy components to the wardrobe and they were like reversible and they would change color and they were made out of like this fabric. I can't remember what they were called, but that is what this reminds me of. They're so cool, guys. They're really well made. The color combos are really, really retro, like retro chic vintage. I really like it. As if it was possible that they could make even cuter ones, they have. These are the Dollar Tree's version of the slinky bodycon dress goes head wrap. Look at this. It's got ruffles. Do you see this? It's really nice. But then look at it in the black version. It's like the sexy black dress. Beautiful. This is really nice. It gets better though. That is two colors, cream and black. They made it in this dusty rose. Also super duper pretty. Really gorgeous. They made these beautiful chiffon humongous scunchies and they're tipped in chiffon. They are really, really nice guys. I mean, the nicest I've seen quality wise. All three of them are outrageously huge and the fabric is really luxe, but I saved the best for last. I saved the best for last. Can you spot it? Yes, this is outstanding. Those are real glass rhinestone beads. <laughs> this is, they're sewn in they're not glued on. I mean, this is amazing. These are really high and I can't believe how beautiful it is. I mean, when they gave us this one, I thought it was nice. It's like crepe fabric. It's not your typical DT fabric. The lining is really nice, like micro suede. This collection is super duper bougie on a teeny tiny buck and a quarter budget. This is gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay guys, a few weeks ago I found this and there were, there was like a turtle or a frog. There's like a few items in the collection with this squeaker toy of the pink flamingo. And I was so excited when I found it that I didn't record it and I don't know what happened. I think someone stole it out of my cart because when I got home I didn't have it and I have not seen it since. And can I tell you this is so hard to find. People must buy 20 of these when they see them because I always find the donut and this is a whole box of donuts and I think maybe they come with the donut. I don't even know. There is like a turtle or a 
something. But is this not one of the cutest toys for $1.25 that you have ever, ever seen at the DT? I am in love with it. I cannot wait to take it home so my dog can just kill it. And right on time for summer and fun in the sun, they have us having fun in the dark too because they just brought us just for us warming jelly personal lubricant water-based helps protect against discomfort not made with fragrance or hormones two ounces buck 25 this is not a dollar tree product it is actually mkj brands which i think is sold at walmart but it's here for a buck 25. okay i'm literally in love with this it says cosmetic case two-piece set I love these colors. Oh my gosh. These are so vibrant and fun. So my style. I love that. You get a little case and a big case. You can put all sorts of things in here. Honestly, you can even put this in a baby shower wishing well because a mom can put wipies in here. I can put my wipies in here and so much more. These are amazing little Mother's Day basket stuffers or new Mother's Day basket stuffers even better for the buck 25 these are fantastic did they finally do it press on nails no glue needed by be pure now that that is cool 12 pieces for a buck 25 i don't know what took them so long i feel like singing what you what you what you waiting for because i mean yeah why haven't they done this sooner this is so good guys i hope that these work well 12 pieces glue is included we have this cute cute pattern these are not for kids are they no they're too big to be for kids i'm not entirely certain that these will fit all adults they're definitely larger than most of the kids press on nails that i've seen here in the dt definitely larger but i don't see them being the same size as the nails that i don't know i'm not sure they're kind of like in betweeners but if you don't have a large nail bed then these will definitely work i even want to try them i think that they're actually really pretty i love these super duper pretty but we don't know what the print is up there we don't know because there's more nails and we can't see them all which is kind of making me crazy then we have this pattern again i shared that one with you guys my favorite one is this pattern but I would like it if there was another floral print up here hiding. Like, we don't know. It's a mystery. What's the one up there? And then these are glittery French manicure tips. Those are super duper cute. Happy to see that they have fully restocked the coconut water with the passion fruit mango juice and pineapple juice. My son loves those. And at a buck 25, they're a great deal. But I've never seen this bio steel. It's sugar free, it says not sugar. And it says, hashtag drink bio steel. It is in the peach mango flavor. It's like a carton, essential electrolytes, no artificial flavors or colors, no preservatives, good for you in the environment, recycle, plant-based cap, BPA free, made from a new renewable, not manurable, made from renewable materials. And I don't know guys, never heard of it before. Matter of fact, it does not come in just peach mango flavor. It also comes in blue raspberry flavor, see down there, and it comes in this white bottle. And it also, they're all sugar-free, they all have the same information, but it also comes in this flavor, which is white freeze flavor. So I don't know what that flavor is, white freeze gonna assume that it's like an icy like one of those Gatorade ice type drinks like frost but I'm seeing these three flavors today and who knows how many more there are it's been a while since we've seen anything like this in the Dollar Tree but these are great in the summer for head wraps but you could use them in all of these ways even face coverings they have this pretty colorful like camouflage print almost and then I'm seeing this blue and white, perfect. You could even wear it as a bracelet, perfect for the summer. Then look at this pretty tropical print. I actually really like that. My friend Kathy would like that. She loves things like that in the summer. Then they have baby blue, 
black and gray. Those are cool for your hair. Well, Dollar Tree just doesn't even know what to do with themselves anymore. <laughs> so now they're going to Technicolor our world in the baking pans. They are giving us pink cake pans or lasagna pans or whatever, but they're pink guys. And I have to admit, I'm kind of loving that. I think it's, I think it's really funny that they're doing that. I mean, they've had these before and I really love, love those. They're nice to bring to a party, but this is really adorable. Hey guys, today we're at the Amityville Horror Dollar Tree. No, I don't know if it's a horror, but I've been hearing some things. Some of my subscribers told me that this store is closed. I've been hearing some really huge horror stories about this store. A lot of my <laughs> local subscribers have been telling me to come and see this store for myself and have I been here lately and have I seen the condition that the store is in. I heard that this store may be closing. I don't know if it's true, but what I do know is that what I'm seeing is insane. It is a mess in this store and Dollar Tree spent so much money. This store has been here only a couple of years, less than a couple of years. So let's take a look around and see what's really going on in here. Is this the Amityville store or the Amityville horror store? Let's find out. Or maybe it'll be a hooray. Maybe we'll find some amazing items. Let's see guys. We're in the Amityville Dollar Tree and I literally am just, this is why when I find a store that looks beautiful, I make sure to share it with you guys because this is what I'm seeing in my perspective. And I thought I would show you why I don't share with you guys what the shelves look like from a distance because you guys are always telling me that you wish that I would. But this is what my stores look like. And I'm seeing this canvas. It's a little out of place, but it's so beautiful. There's four birds. This is, I don't know where this came from. I've never seen it before. It's just here in the pile of rubble. And in the pile of rubble, I'm also seeing the nautical themed hooks, which I think are amazing. Super cool. They have the shell. Nice for your pool area, for your towels. They have this shell as well. Then I'm seeing, okay, that's the same one. I also see, oh, I love the starfish. It's really cute. Perfect for your pool towels, like I said, or a bathroom, or even maybe a kids themed nautical room, which does sometimes happen. There are a lot of really good things in this store, but you gotta really actually do some excavating to find them. Look at this, look at this. Is this not beautiful? I think it's so gorgeous. Obviously this is part of the summer line and I know that there are other signs. This one has a pineapple, it's metal. You can even take this off, but I really like it with the yellow and white beads. It says relax. It's in the same section with the patriotic beads, which are beautiful by the way. Look at the detailing on them. This is awesome bead decor. They have a pretty tassel. Oh, look at this one with the heart. They have one that says USA. These are amazing. For a buck 25, this is the nicest that they have ever, ever made. So those are the three that they have. They have Uncle Sam's cap, they have the heart, and they have the USA. Which one is your favorite? And then look, out of nowhere, let freedom ring. I mean, do you guys see this? This is reality TV right here, guys. This is what we're doing. Today we're doing reality Dollar Tree shopping where I don't try to make it look better than it is. I just give it to you like it is. And on this side of the aisle, I'm seeing this. Nothing really is jumping out at me. We did see these before. You guys have seen them. And if you're looking for them, not a ton of stores got these here in New York, but they do have these really pretty stackable little, I don't know, they're so cool. They're little like stackable reminders that love never fails. Then we have this pink one that says family forever and always and they have different flowers then we have the more purple one i think that these are really really interesting god's blessings cherish them and then there's one more i think that when we found these in pennsylvania we didn't see this one the grateful amazing grace 
Aren't those so pretty? They honestly are really lovely. You can put them on a table, maybe scatter them, put them maybe on a kid's bookshelf or on a bookshelf. They're really inspirational and honestly, they're cool. I'm really digging to find where that canvas came from. It's blowing my mind. They have the pretty crucifixes here. The store is a brand new store and they have a lot of space, but I don't know what's going on here, you guys. It is a hot mess. I see lots of stuff on the gondola. That is food, I think. And then I'm seeing this box here has been open and we're definitely gonna take a peek. <gasps> oh, the rest of them are here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at this, Aloha. So there's only two, I'm kind of shocked. It says Aloha or Relax. They're part of the Luau collection. Now this is gonna be a tough choice because I love the pineapple in the Relax, but then I love the Flamingo, but it says Aloha, it's really hard to decide. <laughs> I'm gonna have to wait and see what else they put out. These are so, so fun, guys. Really cool. And if you're looking for them, they'll probably be right in this box in the Amityville Dollar Tree. <laughs> and here on this side, in this rubble, I am seeing these two piece. I only see starfish and silver dollar or sand dollar. That's what they're called, sand dollars, right? But they're two piece, but they're not, does say, this is really a disaster, you guys. Now you're getting why I'm always on a road trip. There are two piece hanging decor here, but as you can see, they're not labeled Shore Living Line. They're just two piece hanging decor. They're cool though. You can definitely make a garland out of these or the rag garlands that have like the pieces of scrap fabric. I forget what they're called, but you could add these in and it would look really cool. I love the I love the texture of it. It's really smooth and finished nicely. The beads are really nice. These are cool. What would you do with them? I mean, you're getting two for $1.25. Even if you, I don't know, I like them. I don't know what I would do with them though, but they're very, very nice. I do love the ones that have the tassels. I love this so much more. I think it's so complete. I mean, they have so much nautical stuff out right now. We are going to definitely look through every square inch of this store because it has actual hidden treasures. Like, we have to dig, guys. They actually do have Crafter Square oh. new whole box. Like, I'm walking you guys to the gondola. Most of the items on this gondola I've seen, and I don't even know, like, they're on. I haven't seen these yet. I'm going to ask them if they can open that for me, but. I'll even put it out for them. And I haven't seen those yet, and I've seen them on the website. They are so pretty, especially for maybe like a baby shower or a baby party. Do you guys see how pretty and pastel those are? Those are really nice, and they would have been great for Easter basket making, but they have a whole entire line of Crafter Square vinyl that is dedicated to the shoreline, which I think is really interesting. We're gonna have to wait for them to get these items out for us. Let me see what I could do. But, like I said, I always volunteer to put them out for them. I see that they have this box of canvases that we've already seen. The Amityville store is about to put out the beautiful baskets that I've already shared with you guys. And they have so many goodies that if you're looking for them, this is the store to come frequent until you get all your needs met. But they're always really nice about putting things out for people if they want them. Like if you want something, they'll open the box and they will they will let you put it out for them in order for you to get it. These signs look so cool. I have not yet seen those. Aren't they awesome? I did already buy the Unwind. I love it. I absolutely love that. I shared that with you guys. They have these as well. I feel like the nuanced ones are nicer. Oh, somebody's already gotten into this. They are so kind here. They're taking them out for me. Look at how beautiful these are. They're like cotton. They would be cute in a baby's nursery even. They feel so different than any of the other ones that they've ever made. It says round woven storage, but the fabric 
this feels expensive guys like you could probably even put this in the washing machine wow i can't believe how nice these are i am i wonder what else we could do with them i mean i really do love converting them into little lidded storage i do love doing that oh my gosh we could put the watermelon <laughs> beaded garland on this one because the green and the pink look so cute together i don't know i just like to make little baskets out of them they're all really really nice a dollar 25 is an amazing deal for these where did this come from macrame cord nice look at the colors that it comes in i'm seeing some serious awesome diying in the near future these colors are just really earthy and high-end looking oh my gosh they also have this fourth of july decor piece freedom established 1776 i've never seen this i mean it's in the crafter square section guys this is wild then we have this metal piece home of the free because of the brave it's really beautiful okay, so it looks like there's not just this one wayward piece of decor that says let freedom ring oh i see this star too with the blank huh I don't know if that is part okay no this is crafter square all right this dollar tree is just a veritable crazy cornucopia oh my gosh wait a minute sweet land of liberty you guys this is double sided this is cool you can make some sort of a spinner or are they all double sided this is really nice stars and stripes and then it has the gnomes on the other side sweet land of liberty it is actually cool and it has the three colored patriotic beads at the top home of the free because of the brave and it's double-sided too isn't this nice freedom established 1776 you know what those are really cool i mean really cool so this is the let freedom ring that we saw over there and then they have this the god bless america and then i see this just in the crafter square section it is the bottle cap, but it's painted or it's paper. God bless America with the truck. It's so nice. And then this, which is painted red on the sides, which I'm loving. It says, I'm proud to be an American. Oh, it's red everywhere. Okay, I love this. Okay, so I showed you guys the aloha sign and the relax sign. But now I'm stumbling across these. And do you guys see these? They are absolutely what i'm talking about now this for a dollar 25 is a fantastic deal you get the tassel this is really detailed it's really cute guys i mean so cute for a cute summer brunch then the pineapple one i don't know why i kind of wish the pineapple one didn't have the greenery in it because it doesn't totally match the sign but because i thought the pineapple one was the lemon one at first see how the you could always switch it out though but you see how the lemon one is beautiful and it's just yellow and white i kind of love that but then the watermelon one which is red green and white with a gingham they all have gingham which is what makes me love them so much the gingham plaid my favorite you could use this now for the summer and then use it for christmas too isn't it nice i absolutely love this i mean of course you would cover this part up but the actual garland has two purposes and i love it when things can be used in several times of the year it's so much more convenient i think that these are amazing and then these these i've been on the hunt for they're like a mini garland tabletop piece each bead is fully articulated so you can you know position it however you choose to in fact you don't even have to have it share the word you can put your own word on the other side one style of it says enjoy which is nice because it's a different word than what we're usually used to seeing at the dollar tree and then again i'm seeing the word relax and of course i was like trying to figure out what other word i can make <laughs> with these letters but uh that's for a whole other word jumble game but if if i didn't have to paint anything that would be cool because i i like just mixing things up and making them something else that's that's my type of crafting but these are kind of perfect i feel like they don't even need crafting what do you guys think of these aren't they gorgeous i have 
some canvases up that I leave year round the long ones from a few years gone by in the shore living line and I feel like I'm going to fuse the canvases together with the word enjoy and relax in between them because there's three of them like mermaid I, and beach oh my gosh I love those canvases and this is so perfect like you can relax enjoy the beach I'm so loving what I'm going to do with these these are so awesome for the buck 25 so yeah so you get see that there's two here just so you guys know it's not one long garland two of the relax and two of the enjoy for a dollar 25 these are beautiful it's like wood these are amazing guys what the heck is this I've never ever seen this before eco home keep it says keeps bags tightly sealed keeps snacks fresh and organized non-slip opening offers a secure grip okay all of those things seem true because they're like silicone over here and industrial looking and they do have the magnetic closure i don't think they're greenbrier i don't think eco home is one of these new dupage brands at least i don't think so i don't know this i feel like this is probably from Walmart. There's only two left on the shelf. I'm gonna definitely get one because I love a magnetic bag clip. I mean, DT has a lot of good bag clips, but they're not always magnetic. And that is a pitfall in my opinion. And then you have to buy magnets and I love this. This is an awesome $1.25 score. Okay, it's a mess, but it's still fantastic. Look at this, kindness grows from within, but you guys know how I feel about this grow grain gingham ribbon and the daisies. I feel like this is such a nice touch and I almost wanna get the daisy scarf and add it to this somehow in a bow or something. And the kindness grows from within is so true. Welcome to our porch. This is also fantastic. I think maybe I want this one. I love the word porch on a sign. For some reason, it makes my heart happy. I think this one has to come home with me. And then I am seeing this simple black and white welcome sign. The last one had ribbon on it. So I think that they remade it simpler. I feel like they did that so that people can add whatever they want to it because it's really plain. And the last time it was embellished with the grow grain ribbon guys this store is a disaster but look look at the stuff that i'm finding in this store this is beautiful i don't know where oh my gosh it's part of the shore living line for a second i thought somebody left their actual cup here but this is for sale in the dt somewhere somehow we're gonna keep looking i mean my gosh this is beautiful i'm gonna buy this is what look at this top it's like Tupperware tight and it's iridescent glass and it's heavy duty like a pickle jar I actually think I won't break this these are gorgeous I guess the universe wanted me to have a set and then there's some oh somebody helped themselves to a pair of pantyhose and discarded them here I think I love the idea of putting this sign that says welcome to our porch with the birds on my deck well my porch I love it I think it's really really pretty and the birds really go with it. I wasn't going to buy them, but now I feel like I have to. Or maybe these color. Yeah, so gorgeous. And they're giant cups that I just think are so fun and fantastic to build gifts inside of. I mean, you can fit a lot of dollars. They do have them in the pink and in the white, but now they started displaying things in the store. Do you guys see the white cap? We've seen them before. These are amazing, but this is how they're displaying them now in the store. Wow. Okay, so this is what their paper party plate section looks like. They kind of have, they've got a lot of stuff here, but as you guys can see, it's not really, it's just not what you want it to look like. And that is why I usually just give you guys close-ups of the objects I'm sharing with you. Since you guys have been asking, I'm explaining. But look at this. This is so, so cool with the summer flamingo party stuff. It would be really, really nice. Oh, I see watermelons. I have not. Oh, sunny days. I love it. Absolutely love this as well. Okay, so it looks like this is the whole summer collection look at these these are 
actually kind of high-end looking, aren't they? Here they are with the garland. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the green in with this beaded garland. I love the lemon one, but I feel like they're gonna make lemon plates as well. Yeah, I just love the lemon motif. And then I'm seeing this back here, and I think that this is actually part of their summer collection. Oh, it is, yes it is. And that can go with just about anything. I'm sort of digging that, guys. You can, yes, these are fantastic. I love that combo as well. So, so fun on a teeny tiny budget. Now, these are really, really gorgeous. I love, absolutely love how they look. They are by Jot. This on the back of them is just a sticker. It says 30 sheets, but it feels like it's more. It's stapled, so maybe it's actually like, 30 sheets folded in half equaling 60 if you guys know what i mean it says be inspired with that gold foil so pretty then we have this one our faith can move mountains it's also very gorgeous and again that comes off and it's double-sided which i love grow with grace and it's from scripture it's really pretty this would even have been a nice holiday gift really pretty and then be a rainbow between the clouds. That's beautiful. Is that not gorgeous? So what I love about these is if you open them, do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like it's actually 60 pages, but it's 30 sheets of paper because it's folded in half and stapled. Are they not amazing? So, so nice. This is definitely also new to me. I feel like they had these in the past, but I, I mean, I know they had these stationary sets in the past, but I don't think they had these exact intentions. This one is like a pretty floral print, and I love the little green plastic sleeve that they have them in. It's like a plastic envelope. It's sort of like a bonus, like you get something for free. You get two cards, four letters, and six envelopes, so you can see the little letter paper so you can send people notes or messages i love the green and then they have this one again two cards four letters six envelopes this one says the best color is rainbow and it's polka dotted and that's actually what it looks like inside really super duper cute and then we have this print and this print looks really familiar to me so maybe they have had these in the past but then they're back see they're all like happy shiny happy pineapples or yeah because i was thinking maybe that last one is a strawberry but could be i don't know but it's very luau super cute kid friendly adorable and again all of them have this plastic sleeve and then this one is kind of lovely it says shine on isn't that cool like you have a bright idea that's really nice and you could use that in a lot of different ways and it comes in this amber colored plastic little envelope. I think that those are a good deal for $1.25. Tear and Share a Prayer, Color Your Own by Crown Jewels. I've never seen these. You are the light of the world. Oh wow, these are cool. His mercy endures forever. Okay, these are beautiful. Let me see if there are others. Okay, I feel like the thumbnail and the topic of this video is things that you find that you've never seen before in a Dollar Tree that looks like a bomb blew up in it because I've never seen that before and I don't see any other sentiment. The rest of them are like the sticker books that we've seen before and all it's just jarbled up but there's only this one style and I've never seen those before. So even a crazy Dollar Tree like this has a lot to be desired. You just got to look. That is my honest and earnest opinion, guys. I swear to you, this is how I find things at the Dollar Tree. I don't even know what we have here. You got this. Healthy goals. We've seen these journals before, but if you're looking for them, you can find them in Amityville. Wow, they still have them. That it's not about perfect. It's about effort healthy goals. I feel like if I pull this out, it's going to cause a serious avalanche. So I'm not going to do it, but you guys can see what I'm dealing with here, can't you? <laughs> now, you guys already know that I am obsessed with this brush. I feel like it works so good. It is such a good dupe. I think to, what is it called? The Unbrush? Is that what it's called? They're so awesome, guys. I love them. 
they have this version as well. It's like a new handle. If you look, it has the vents, but it's not as malleable as this one. And I have not yet seen that one. But what I'm noticing that is new, that I think is really interesting, is this comb with colored bobby pins. You get 10 piece bobby pins with the set in each color. So you get purple bobby pins with the purple comb, green bobby pins with the green comb, and these peachy bobby pins with the peachy colored comb. And the thing is that the plastic that they're in is like a smoky gray, so it's hard to really see the color. But if you guys look, it's an actual little case that you could possibly store something else in that you may want to have for your hair. So I think that is so cool. Or maybe even you could put edge gel in there if you're traveling. That's really neat besides just bobby pins. Aren't those cool? I feel like they are so innovative. Though it's a new store and they have absolutely wonderfully clean nail polish displays, they actually have a no nail polishes. I mean, I've never seen this in a Dollar Tree. Add a splash of color and they've just added splashes of whatever. But I'm not convinced that that means we're not gonna find good stuff in here because I'm seeing some awesome Guru Nanda products that not everyone's able to find. See that? They have lots of the saline pre-mixed packets. I know a lot of people have been picking up the Guru Nanda sinus rinse bottle in hopes of finding the saline pre-mixed packets, but here in the store, they actually have both. So you can get all of your Guru Nanda nasal allergy season needs fulfilled. I think that that is a hooray if you ask me. And I do see the sassy and chic makeup brushes that a lot of people are not finding from what I understand in my comment section that I think are amazing. They are so super duper pretty. They have loads of them. Oh my goodness. I have been looking for some extras of this for a long time. The Be Pure Hydrating Nighttime Lip Mask for a buck 25. You guys, these have been sold out everywhere and Amityville still has them. So that's a hooray again. Maybe in a strange place considering their makeup section is empty, but I am seeing the LA Colors Tropical Bloom display. And honestly, I really like this display because it makes it really easy. It gives you the lipstick, the eyeshadow, the mascara, and the blush for each look. It's just super simple. We did go over this in a previous shop with me, but I think that this is a nice LA Colors new display. This store, it's on the floor, but that's okay. I mean, their makeup section is empty and they have these boxes of items just strewn all over the store on the floor. I don't think that that's so bad. Is that bad, guys? Let me know what you think. Okay, so now here's another interesting, <laughs> um, I guess, Amityville store. I think this is a plus. I've never seen this before. All right, it's a little bit obscured by the fact that it's in a cart, but you just got to look everywhere. Remember to always look everywhere. This is kind of like we're exercising the awesome finds here. Do you see this, guys? It says, signature made with 100% real spices flavors, new, time release flavor, flavor boosters by Kingsford that has basil, sage, and thyme, and oak wood. Easy to add to any charcoal grill. I don't know, but that's cool for a buck 25. That looks like it would be really cool to use in your barbecues over the summer. And you just got to keep your eyes peeled, guys, because I mean, who would think to look in a cart? You usually would think that this is someone's shopping cart. Hey guys, you can't make this up. Here in the candle section, I am finding some more 4th of July items. <laughs> These cute little wind chimes are just decor pieces. You can hang them on your porch or anywhere. They have this guy and they have this one, Home of the Brave. They both have some wood beads on the top and I dug them out from in this box. This is where they are. So if you were looking for them, I highly doubt you would ever actually find them. 
that is why those who are shopping here said that they are digging and things are falling on them and I can understand that and it's a really big store I just don't get it what's going on they did bring these candles back and I have to tell you guys these are my all-time favorite candles that the Dollar Tree has ever ever made they've got the Prosecco and Rose with the wood lid top the Midnight Jasmine super pretty it's like a lavender color i love it then we have the white amber this one smells so good but my favorite one absolute favorite because it goes with all of the nautical decor and it smells awesome is the wood sage and sea salt i love this candle in fact i honestly love them all and i've bought them over and over again they are wonderful a minute look oh. at this in this box sitting right on the floor we have this raspberry candle now. Ooh, it smells pretty good. We recently had candles similar to these, but these are new scents. This one is soybean scented. Hmm. Well, it smells actually very good, but I'm not gonna get that because I'm allergic to soy and I don't need any problems. Ooh, we have cinnamon scented. That smells really nice too. I don't know. How many different fragrances there are i don't want to cause a lot of trouble in the box oh i see the lavender you know oh what? you know what i don't think that these are new what i think is it's the first time i've ever seen them with their actual little cards because these fall out and it was hard to figure out what the scents were when i found them all over town but in this store they actually have the tag on them so that's a plus for them they realized that they fall apart, so they left them in the box here on the floor. I think that was a smart move. Now, I'm not sure why so many of the beautiful 4th of July items are just strewn all over the Crafter Square section because they actually did take the time to make a 4th of July display here in the front with the napkins and all these cool items that we do pick up year after year Let's face it, we love to buy these things for our barbecues. This inflatable decor is just amazing for a buck 25. Are you guys seeing that? And it comes in the red, the gold, and the silver. And you can use these for other things. You can actually probably even put helium in them instead of just blowing them up. <gasps> they made door banners, guys. Oh, wow. For the 4th of July, these are cool. In the flag, this is actually very cool. And freedom, you could use it as a table runner, but they even have felt a table runners. I mean, I just wanna to go to the back of the store and bring all the 4th of July stuff up here and put it where it rightfully belongs because I don't understand what it's doing over there. <laughs> I will say that it's kind of shocking to see Christmas bowls and graduation mugs not in its own graduation section it seems like this store has no boundaries when it comes to where they're going to put things for whatever reason they're not putting things out where they're usually in a section dedicated for graduation stuff or you guys get it it seems like they don't have that here they just put anything anywhere like for example these now these tumblers are stackable and they are tiki cups which i think is so fun it says tumbler goblet they come in the beautiful teal the purple the magenta and the neon green and i just love the idea of buying all four of them and stacking like a rainbow of luau cups wouldn't that be cute for your next backyard party luau to have a stack of rainbow cups that you could reuse year after year buck 25 that really do say we're having a backyard luau i love love this kind of situation now this is cool guys not a greenbrier product by mad lab it says be mesmerized it's active and it's called flip and fluff it's like an hourglass this is so cool by jaru buck 25 i see it in orange pink they have it in green oh i love the green it's really it is mesmerizing it's kind of relaxing 
I wonder if they have it in blue as well. Let's take a look. Well, I'm not seeing blue, but that doesn't mean they don't have it in blue. But in this store, I see the pink, the green, and the orange. Okay, the girl started helping me and she said she would take these out for me because these are a super hot commodity, guys. Look, iridescent bottle with straw. I don't think I've seen this anywhere. They are amazing, amazing. I'm gonna help her put them out. So if you're local and you're looking, you can find them in Amityville. They are amazing, guys. Look, look at this. They come in the pink, iridescent, absolute fantasticness. This gorgeous purple, the beautiful teal or seafoam green, and then the peach. These are fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. I am obsessed with them. And the glass is kind of heavy duty. They're amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing, my friends. I'm definitely gonna pick up one of each. I wonder if Sadie found this. I have to catch up on her videos. If not, purple's coming at you, Sadie. Okay, I am really about to go crazy. Do you guys see this? This is so much bigger than the $1.25 cup they gave us during the holidays. It's an exact Starbucks cup dupe for only $1.25. These are not from the plus section, guys. They are a buck 25. Look at the peach. It's so spring and beautiful. The blue is just summer, beach vibes, pool time. The white is amazing. And the pink is precious. I absolutely love every one of these. I can't wait to see the ones that they make in jewel tones for the winter. These are amazing. Okay, guys, this is an amazing new find because as you all know, Dollar Tree put out that rose oil color changing lip balm and everybody loved it. It was like the perfect color on everyone. And I personally love it. Now they made this color changing lip balm. It says go from clear to your unique lip color, but it has dried flowers in it. I mean, this is crazy bougie. There are companies that charge so much money for something like this. Look at the case, just look at it. It looks super expensive on a bougie $1.25 Be Pure dupage again. I love when Be Pure dupes things. It makes me crazy happy. They also have this floral lip gloss, which is definitely a dupe for Blossom brand that is sold in Ulta for eight and nine dollars. These are identical products and actually the packaging on the Be Pure products is a little bit nicer and it does come in the hot pink as well as the purple. Those are super duper cool if you love lip gloss, but these are so, so exciting. I am loving everything about them and I love this packaging. Was I lying? This was an amazing shop with me. I found so many items I didn't even know existed. I didn't even know existed. So if you guys are looking for some awesome stuff and you're local, hit the Amityville not so horrible horror store. But on the other hand, if you have a store that looks like this, you might wanna give it another looks over because I mean, nothing was where it was supposed to be. And even the sections that were designated for a certain season or a seasonal decor didn't have the good stuff. They were almost hidden. Do you guys realize that? They were like out of place and hidden. Maybe people are doing it on purpose. I don't know, but let me know if you've ever experienced this in your store where they even had, they had like a 4th of July end cap, but, but none of the really good stuff was in it. The good stuff was kind of hidden, guys. I mean, it wasn't where it was supposed to be, and it just so happens that it was all of the really good stuff. I think that maybe things sell out really quickly. I don't know. I don't know any, I just can't ever figure out what exactly people's rhyme or reason is when it comes to the Dollar Tree. But in my opinion, the Amityville Horror Store is an awesome store that I'm gonna start visiting a little more often. I found amazing items in that store that I didn't even know existed. I just keep saying that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below about anything and everything that you would like to chat with me about. And as always guys, stay safe and stay savvy and don't be afraid of the Amityville Horror.